Hey guys, so I am here with Alex <laughs> at Return Barbers uh, in Ferndale, Michigan. And you guys have two locations, right? Yes, one in Court Town, you know, right on Michigan Avenue, and then one here in Ferndale, right on Woodward. Perfect. Yeah, there's a big billboard. <laughs> and um, we're going to be doing a haircut video for you. So one thing we thought would be really cool was if we did a kind of like how to talk to your hairstylist type video. I know that when I first started getting my hair cut professionally, I had no idea how to talk to the hairstylist. I was just like, here's a photo of some celebrity, which I don't know if you like photos, I'm sure it helps give an idea. Photos help definitely give it a rough idea yeah. of what the client is asking. For. Exactly. And then but then again like I was like, well this photo's super touched up. It's not really like it's really pampered, you know, like it's modeled typically on people yes. that you'll see like for like men's hairstyles. And so I was like it's hard to see kind of like what the cut would actually be. So we're gonna essentially take you through each of the different steps of going through a, a typical guy's haircut. And then um, the hairstyle we're gonna do is one that is becoming pretty mainstream, but like it looks really nice. So like it's trendy for a good reason, I think. Uh, kind of like a fade on the sides a little bit with the length and then leaving a little bit longer on top. And it's a hairstyle that I think works for most types of hair too, oh, yeah. that like general, style, um, but I know it does not work out for some. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna jump right into it. And the first thing we're gonna be doing is sides. So from what I know, <laughs> you're essentially taking, or you essentially would wanna say uh, a certain number of length that you want the sides. Right. Um, and then I actually had to ask one of my other hairstylists, like, what number is what, and like, really, like, break it down. But would you say, like, what would you say the scale is from like a one to like a what? So it's, it's basically the the longest length that you can go uh, is a seven. Okay. So seven is we're getting into like really, you can either do clippers or sheer work. Yeah. The tighter you go, the more clipper work that you're going to go. Okay. So say from a four on down, it's going to be all. Clipper. Okay. That was kind of the compression. Gotcha. So I typically go for like a 1.5 here because I have really light hair. So I don't like to be too uh, <laughs> close to my skin. And like if it gets too short, it'll just kind of like blend in with the skin. Um, and then I go to like a 2.5, uh, which is where it gets up here. So that, because I have like a longer head too, yeah. so I like to keep it a little bit longer uh, towards the top so that it doesn't make my head look as long. Right. <laughs> That's like, why the long face? You know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're just going to get into cutting the sides. Perfect. in the sideburns right through there just mm -hmm. to kind of give the haircut a complete look. Even if you don't trim the beard, yeah. it just looks a little bit cleaner. So let your hairstylists know that too. <laughs> no, they probably, they already know that kind of stuff too, yeah. which is always nice. Now we're gonna work on the top. So we have the sides done. As you can see, there's a little bit of a fade action going, but not too much. So on the top, I kind of, um, I always tell Alex that I want it kind of like a, well this time it's actually a little bit different because I want a little bit longer, but you said to have more like a progression. Yes, yeah, so what we'll do, we'll keep a little bit longer on the top and as it slowly goes to the back, it's going to get just a little bit shorter. Okay, and then I know that some people like a more prominent cut, so they will just say like, no blending, which you say is like the... Maybe like a, a, like a disconnect. Have more of a disconnect. Yeah, That's what it was. I was trying to yeah. think of the word. Yeah. So if you want a disconnect, let them know that so that they can have more of like um, less blending and it will look more like <laughs> not like that, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but more, like, more of like an undercut. So yeah. Where so tight the, where that where your hair meets the part. Yeah. It's super tight. Through exactly. Hair. And then if you want it kind of like the same length throughout the whole um, front to back, 
um, then you can say that, or say you want more of a progression, which will leave it more long in the front, and it gets shorter as it goes back, which I like. A little bit more just supposed for styling. A lot of the styling action happens, the party's in the front. <laughs> so um, I always like keeping a little bit longer in the front. And then usually too, you always say like, oh, like I'll take like an inch off or like a half an inch off. And if you really don't know, don't be afraid to just say like, uh, half an inch, and then we can go another half an inch if you know you want it yeah. a little bit different. Also, if you're not too sure um, how much to take off, mm -hmm. the barber can ask, when would you say was your last haircut? Then yeah. they can see how much, they can kind of assume how much your hair's grown yeah. since the last yeah. time you got a haircut. Mm -hmm. How scientific. <laughs> Military khakis. Right? <laughs> Look for them. They're like, uh... <laughs> going look at that <laughs> we're essentially going to be doing a hard part yeah to me I always think of it as a little bit edgier too of like if you're if you're doing a more blended look you can get a hard part right here and it, for one it helps when you're styling your hair for Absolutely. myself yeah of like because I always comb it down here and then comb it over here so it really helps you give that line and I noticed that the one time I didn't get it I was like where's the line <laughs> but um, so I always ask for a hard part, and it essentially is just like taking the trimmer. And there's nothing really to it but to do it with Absolutely. that, right? We, we can, we'll do the trimmer first, and then yeah. we'll go over it with the razor just to kind of get that a little bit cleaner look. So for my hair, it gets really thick really quickly, which is great. I'm very appreciative of that. <laughs> but when it comes to if I want to grow it out a little bit longer, it always gets more difficult towards the time I need a haircut to style. So we use thinning shears, Correct. right? You just ask them for thinning shears and then essentially just go through your hair and thin it out. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. Because are those, are those scissors actually like cutting, they're just like cutting the hair in the middle? Essentially what they're doing, they're cutting every other hair. Gotcha. Right? And so that's why um, the shears kind of look like combs almost. Gotcha. Now you want to be careful with thinning too. If you thin out hair too much, because you're still cutting hair, mm. short hair moves long hair. So those short hairs, if you get your hair thinned out a lot, those short hairs are going to move those long hairs, uh, and your hair will just kind of sprout out. <laughs> Gosh, I didn't know that. So don't get it thinned out too much. Don't be like, thin it. <laughs> Thinner. Remember balance. Okay, so now we're going to be going in the neck area. Yes. So, um, with this, is there options? Would For sure, you, say? you I would say yes. Absolutely. Okay. If we're going with a tighter haircut, more mm -hmm. like so, they typically recommend a taper. Okay. Taper is kind of that smaller fade mm -hmm. that fades out into the neckline. They grow in really nice. Mm -hmm. They grow in a lot net more natural. Mm -hmm. um, if you didn't want to go that route, you could always square it off to the back here or even round it. Typically, okay. if your hair is a lot longer, like more than, say, a four, mm -hmm. uh, it usually looks a little bit better 
just, just kind of around it. Right. Typically, tapering is the way to go, though. That tapering is really that barbering kind of finesse <laughs> look. <laughs> I usually get yeah. I usually get tapering. I think I always have to. Yeah. Oh, he just did the trimming, which looks so fancy and nice. <laughs> but we um, also like to have the neck cleaned up. So we will now do uh, a foam with like a straight razor, yes. right? Is what you would call it? Detroit Barbers has warm foam, which I didn't realize was a thing, <laughs> which is lovely. Because <laughs> usually people will put like a warm towel on too. That's also one I've had. But this is essentially like doing the razor. <laughs> Bring me around the front, right? <laughs> so we're also gonna do a quick little styling guide. So I have had some experiences with hairstylists where um, I'm like, yeah, I'm going out, like, yeah, like, feel free to style, um, like, that'd be great. And they'll kind of just, like, they don't know what to do, and they'll just, like, put my hands through it. So I found it's better to just say, like, hey, like, you know, let them know to, like, do, oh, do what I walked in with, you know, or say something like that, because they really don't know, like, where you're going, what you're doing. You could be doing something fancy, you could be getting your hair cut for an event, and they might be like, hey, can you just do a little bit more so I don't have to do it later or do it for myself. Is there anything that you personally like to hear in the styling phase? The styling phase, um, it's what kind of finish that you like. It's either you like a more of a matte finish, which is means no shine, or you like that high gloss. Oh yeah, duh. Because, because like a little bit of a wet. Look. Yeah, yeah. Today we'll be using the Detroit Barber's Cream, mm -hmm. which more gives more of a natural finish, so more of a matte finish, not mm -hmm. quite super shiny, but yet not super matte. I like a, a matte finish that has that, the one I'm hearing under is like a natural shine, yes. where it's like, doesn't look like so like oiled up per se, but it still looks kind of like, like it's... like you woke up like that. Kind of exactly, like a you woke up like that kind of thing. <laughs> one important thing about product, it really is more most effective when you get it from root to tip, so you really want to try and get it everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, because Detroit Barbers has their whole line yeah, of products, right? Basically. Versus other types. Versus what? Or like, what's the, the brush you're using is not a roller brush. Oh, just right? like a comb? Or the, what was the square one you had? The, like a bed brush? Yeah. yeah. Do you like that more? It, I like this more when I'm blow drying. I can really grip the hair mm. up through that. Now I can do the same thing with a comb. True. But this was more designed to help. To do that exact to thing. To do this exact thing, yes. Okay. And this really gets that like in the front really that the yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What would you call this kind? This kind? A a, oh, this kind of brush? Oh, this kind of brush? I would call this like a bed brush. It's a bed and brush. styling brush. Okay. Yeah. So, it's looking fantastico. See, so like a little side view, a little front view, a little side view. <laughs> but it looks great. So, um, we hope that you guys learned a couple things here with how to exactly talk to your hairstylist about the style you want. We hope that you try new things, try new looks because it's fun and trends are changing all the time so maybe you'll feel more armored now to feel confident walking into your appointment. <laughs> and check out Detroit Barbers because I love them. And thank you Alex. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>